Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today we're bringing you our collection update, which also currently is including a giveaway. A rolling continuous giveaway for uh, ever, for forever. Forever. forever, forever, forever. We, we, get, we get a lot of games. We get a lot of games from publishers, and here's the cool part. Off of the success of the last one, I already have publishers that are like, hey, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll give away a game. You want some like fancy cool stuff to send to the community? Sure, why not? So, if you're tuning in, here's here's the reality. Can't put giveaway in the title. Uh, we're not putting giveaway in the title. <laughs> we're gonna put it in the thumbnail, yeah, because fucking scam bots. Uh, yep. But here's the thing. We, last week, drew names for the Isle of Cats and Atlantis Rising, and guess what? Neither were claimed. Really? One of them was emailed to us. Okay. But he's international. Okay. And so he said, hey, I don't really want to deal with the shipping. Thank you so much for offering to send this to me. Super yeah. exciting that I want it. Made my day that I want anyway. And he was like, let's watch the snowball effect happen. Okay. So this is the way our giveaway works. Every single weekend in our collection update, we're going to have new games that we're giving away. Throughout the course of the week, you'll be able to vote in a poll, which if some of you did, you'll know that we have a game being added to this giveaway list that is probably one of the most hot commodities currently. I mean, worth That hundreds. better not be off of our permanent collection shelf. We'll talk about that in a second. You'll be able to vote every week on which game gets added to the giveaway cycle. Then, whoever wins can check the very next week's collection update video to see if their name was drawn. They then have until Thursday, when we record these yep. videos, to send us an email to let us know, hey, show proof of contact, we'll call them on a phone, something like that. And that is the only way we, we will be in touch with yeah. you guys. Email. Quackaloop at gmail.com. It's all in the we description of the video. We will not be texting you from any WhatsApps or texts or messaging all on social media. Here's the cool thing. Here's the cool thing. We are going to have what's called basically a lottery or a, a escalating snowball style giveaway. These two were not claimed, which means we now have two branching pathways here on Quackalope, spiring off, and this one is going to be one of the branching pathways, and this one is going to be one of the branching pathways. Which means if you win this week's giveaway, there's a chance you might win the Isle of Cats, Atlantis Rising, the Isle of Cats, and Mind MGMT, which was one of our spiraling giveaways last time, and uh, as we're, wait, how are we doing this? This was the thing we announced last time. This is the escalation. We have to give away, oh, I remember. I remember, Shira. Yeah? I don't know what you're talking about. Something that you, the audience, don't know is that if you made it to the end of the video, there was a secret challenge. A certain amount of thumbs up that we needed uh, involved in the comment section. Now, that's not always going to be the same challenge, and I'm not always going to reveal what that challenge is at the same stage in the video. But we got, let's just say, five times, six times the amount of thumbs up and engagement that we needed for another game to be added to this second spiraling giveaway. So you might win Atlantis Rising and Arc Nova or Isle of Cats and Mind MGMT. And bridging off into the giveaway for next week, we're going to be drawing the winner for Townsfolk Tussle. Now, there may or may not be another secret challenge sometime throughout this video. If you see that, we will add one to each pile. And depending on wow. which one was or was not claimed, there's a chance you will be winning four or five games next week. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's go ahead and draw winners. Yes. I'm enjoying this, personally. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here with this camera up top so we can really see the iPad. I forgot that's the only thing that's important. That's not that our, personal, our personal co copy, is this? So, Mind M MGMT is one of the additional deluxe copies. Okay, it is not uh, ours that is sitting on our shelf. No, ours is opened and played. Okay, correct. Um, yeah, so it's not going anywhere. This, uh, you know. Yes. Uh, that is our our, our copy, um, but we have two because the publisher sent us one and we bought one, so I have an additional one to give away. Uh, the weird thing is that at the time of creating the YouTube poll... Um, you forgot how many copies of Townsfolk Tussle you actually had in your in your house? I bought four copies off the Kickstarter yes. because it, I knew it was going to be insanely successful. One of those copies we sold at a good price to a Patreon member. Mm -hmm. One of those copies we gave to Devin Norris yep. uh, as a bonus for the work that he does with us. And one of those copies we gave to Table Knots yep. as a thank you for staying and playing a game of Root with us. 
This was that, our last and final copy. That leaves and left one copy of Townsfolk Tussle in existence. So over the course of the last week, as all the fans had voted for Townsfolk Tussle to be the game that was being given away, I did some scrounging, some scrambling, uh, some hectic messages to people who I knew uh, had uh, multiple copies at one point or another, and I, I did find another copy of Townsfolk Tussle. It was not without a bit of headache and a bit of a uh, Venom. If it gets here in time, you will be getting the in shrink copy. You will be not be getting the copy that I have worked so hard to punch and organize. Let's just say Shira uh, is particularly fond of uh, Mind MGOT, uh, Townsfolk Tussle, and Ark Nova. He tried to give away the copy of Ark Nova that I had organized. Yeah. He and, doesn't. Uh, he likes his shelf to all be in shrink. I do. Which I doesn't do. make any sense because I like to play the game. Strong, so. strong preference. So, yes, shrink. you will hopefully not be getting right. our personal copy. We, off of the last YouTube video, had 992 unique commenters. We've pulled that through YouTube Comment Picker, and it's time to go ahead and start the raffle. Ark Nova and Atlantis Rising. Let's see who says what. We have Angel Cauldron. Comment, okay. the Marvel United skit seemed like a fun way to introduce how big the game is. Can you screenshot that? Uh, screenshot it? No, I'll, I'll grab it when, when I edit it. Okay. And then go respond to the comment. So, you should be getting a ping letting you know that you just won. Send us an email. It's going to be, the link is going to be in the video description. And for MindMGMT and the Isle of Cats, let's pick another winner. Now, if you're not, oh, Brian. Brian. I backed the latest Mind MGM Kickstarter off the good word of your channel. I'd be ecstatic to have a copy a few months early and keep up the great work. He already has a copy of Mind MGMT coming his way. Brian's going to be able to give away another <laughs> copy of Mind MGMT after he discovers just how good the game is. Yeah. Uh, hey, for all of those that didn't win, don't worry, there's giveaways happening every single week. And for all of those that did win, we hope that you don't respond because then it's a lot more fun to it's see it going to continue escalating. Uh, and here's the other cool Townsfolk thing. Townsfolk Tussle will be next week's. I, I'm just going to throw this out there. What's the one deluxification every board gamer wants to add to their home but financially can usually not justify? Calyx, a table. Anything else? I mean, those are good ideas. Those are really good a ideas. A wormwood table. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> above what we're talking about. Calyx, table, food, mats. Games. You're just looking at what's in the room. Cameras. Now. That's not. Lights. That's literally not how this works. Okay. I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm working on some stuff. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. Slide these off to the side. If you're watching this now, uh, I'm actually gonna like just just for the people that left after they didn't win that. Hey, this is the collection update. We're gonna walk you through everything we've bought. Uh, bought, binned, backed, and begged for uh, that's arrived to our studio, stuff we're adding to our permanent shelf, stuff that's coming in for us to cover, uh, stuff that we have backed on Kickstarter and GameFound, and stuff that we've decided to get rid of, and we do have some stuff hitting the chopping block this week. And along with that, uh, if you're watching now, it means you survived through the giveaway portion of this video, and I'm actually going to introduce the secret challenge now instead of at the end of the video like we did last time. If we get... Last time it was 150 likes. Okay. Comments are maybe a little bit more directive than likes. If we get 250 quacks down below in the comment section, and you Which can comment. Which will also automatically enter, it will you enter you, the It'll enter you into it, but I want that specific term. Okay. If we get 250 quacks, you'll be part of a special giveaway that happens next week that's only drawing names, only drawing uh, contestants who use the word quack. I better go quack on the video. I'm just saying. So we, we gave an additional game away this yeah. time because of the thumbs up. Next week we'll give away another thing to only the select group of people. So if you were out of like one out of 900, this time it could be like one out of 300. I'm just saying, I like this. I'm having so much fun. All right, collection update time. Let's do this. What are we starting with? Are we starting with, with Kickstarter? Are we starting with stuff that arrived, stuff we're getting rid of? Stuff that arrived. Stuff that arrived, okay. Yes, because it's very exciting. Oh, it is so exciting because you, Ah, Septima. <laughs> this is by Mind Clash Games. It's their newest prototype, and I'm actually going on to a TTS teach tomorrow morning, and I'm yeah. super excited. Yeah. What were we yesterday morning I'm for so when you're watching this? I'm so excited for her to learn how to play this game, because I have yet to teach anyone successfully Mind Clash Games. Did you have games. perseverance in last week's shelf? We did. Okay. We did. 
Here's the thing. These are the two Mind Clash games that I am, the new, newest ones that I'm really excited to dive into. Don't tell Mind Clash games this though, but because we're doing coverage for this and we're just doing free coverage for mm -hmm. their next Kickstarter, I might be sending an email sometime this week being like, hey, hey, nudge, nudge, we've got this whole giveaway thing that would be a great way to promote your project. Do you want to send us like a copy of Anachrony or a copy of Tracarion or a copy of like, I'm just going to throw it out there. Or Cerebria? I'm not saying they'll say yes. I'm just saying. I'm excited. I'm trying. I'm very excited. I cannot wait. I am. I absolutely love what they do. And you like and it that you don't have a, to learn them. Oh, I love that. I, I don't, don't think have to you've learn learned any of them. I have not learned a single one. This. Planet oh, I did not know the Deluxify. This is a fantastic. Oh my gosh, Tetris. What is Polyomino? This is entering our permanent collection now. Yes, like, it is. Period. We've played it a bunch of times over at Alex's house. Um, it's gonna stay and shrink. No, it will not. It'll be punched. It is a polyomino puzzle with either all same planets or asymmetric puzzles that you're trying to solve. You're going up a whole bunch of resource tracks and it's a lot of fun because you have to choose a piece based on how the person whose turn it is spins the track mm -hmm. of pieces. Yeah. I, I like this. It's it's a lovely polyomino. One of, one of the best at the moment. We got in. Oh my gosh. This is intense. Human Punishment. This one I don't know anything about, but you were excited to see it arrive. We did we did coverage for Human Punishment at the beginning, and this is a far cry from the uh, crazy little prototype that we received to do gameplay of about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. Human Punishment at the beginning is going to be a advanced uh, advanced hidden movement game. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've we've been enjoying that series. You maybe less so than Alex and I. Is it Alex going to I. challenge my MGNT and Beast? Uh, it is, it's more advanced than either one of those. So for a game group that wants to play like a two and a half, three hour session where you're digging into everything, it's actually, I think, more on par with something like Battlestar Galactica. Uh, cool. In terms of the nuance of, of movements oh, cool. and just the decision making that you're doing. I mean, I like um, the title. I'm so, excited to give it a try. Yeah. I, is it human, is it, it, I'm trying to think of what the correct term is. I might be messing up the term. Human Punishment the Beginning. Uh, three, semi-cooperative game with traders deduction, cinematic twists, and an epic pick up and deliver secure network. Uh, leaving your comfort zone felt so good. Uh, da, 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 da. Didn't say anything about... Yeah, it didn't. Become a part of the ghost and fight for the survival of your kind. I'm... I might be missing... I might be misremembering, okay. but I don't think I am. You're... Yes, it, no, I'm not misremembering. It's it's similar to Battlestar. It's not maybe... It's hidden role then. Hidden identity. Okay, that's with a not... a hidden traitor, not hidden movement. That's not hidden movement. But it is still kind of, because the way that you're moving around the map, you've got areas that you're going to, but you've got the fallen, the legion, the machine, and the human. It's not one and versus many, is it? It's not necessarily one versus many, but depending... It's, it's more like Battlestar Galactic. Okay. Depending on the role that you end up having, you have different allies and factions that you're supporting towards the end game drive. Cool. So, not not hidden movement, but it is it is still kind of hidden movement. Okay. Get, off your, to, get off your high horse. Trying to argue for what, yeah, whatever. Whatever. All right. The next game coming from Australia, from Platypus Industries, this drop is bears. Drop Bears. Do you know that Drop Bears are horrific tourist infection, in, infecting uh, uh, koala bears that live up in the treetops and will literally drop on top of your head in Australia and consume you from the like scalp down? That sounds so cute and it's fuzzy. It's terrifying. Do they actually consume you or do they just cuddle with There's you? There's been 37 deaths this year alone Ow. from tourists being like pounced on by these bears. Adorable and creepy. Adorable and creepy. You can see like an artist illustration of it. Aww. It's basically like a rabid. Uh, it's it's rabid like, koala. It's like a rabid koala, basically. Okay. Uh, Platypus Industries made the Rat Catcher, uh, one of my favorite little solo games. Uh, big fan of Matthew Aslan, who's the designer of this. I cannot wait to dive in. We'll be having some coverage uh, here on the main channel or over on Quack and Co. Um, excited to be featuring that. What else has arrived? Survive Until Daylight uh, from Flyos Games. This is a cooperative game with uh, escalating horrific monsters, kind of zombie post-apocalyptic style stuff, building weapons, making tactical decisions, and doing your best to survive. Uh, it's sort of entry level. It's great for like a family, um, like Alex and, and uh, uh, Alex and Tavi could sit down and just have a great time with it. Um, I'm excited to cover it. I love the artwork. It's it's based off of their old Survive Until Daylight uh, with a few new mechanics and a little bit more of an accessible pass through. Cool. So I think that's... Um, Is I don't that everything? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we really need to mention. Um, there's just really nothing else has arrived. Except so far. this one thing that you wouldn't answer what it was. What? Is this the pretty game that I remember hearing discussion about 
through our chats. So we're gonna be doing a full unboxing of this, so I'm not gonna showcase everything. But this... Suro, the game of the path. So this is what I thought it was. This is Suro, the deluxe edition. Gorgeous. With metal miniatures uh, that are, I mean, feel how hefty that thing is. That's with nice. Shira. The church just waited. Shira. What? The rule book. That's so cute! The rule book is a scroll. <laughs> uh, you have these, uh, if, if we go underneath there, you have stone tablets for the tiles that you're laying down. Okay, I just want to play with all the miniatures. They're yeah, very, but let me pretty. let me show you this though. I thought you're doing a full unboxing. We here. are. Wow. Oh wow. That's so, cool. For those of you that uh, grew up playing or entered the hobby playing Suro, this may or may not be something you uh, should be paying attention to. Uh, it is expensive, unapologetically expensive. I can imagine. They're going like three fifty for this for this brick, but it is about as deluxe as you can get. You gotta put it back down that way. Okay. There's no room here. All right, what are we doing now? Are we doing games leaving, going, Kickstarter? What's games up next? Games leaving, going should be the same category. Leaving, going. Uh, okay, let's Changing start. Changing collection status. Changing collection status. Magnet. We have Magnet. Now, I'm gonna have a video going over on Quack & Co covering this one. We've played it a few times now with a few yep. more game groups. Uh, really compelling to start out with. Yes. But quickly fell into we realize that the ending makes a huge difference based on how your gameplay experience can be. Yeah. If the ending is a push your luck situation where you are trying to decide if you're going for one more round or not one more round, then it's tense and it makes the table feel very... Here's the thing. This is a game where the real estate market has just opened up. Yeah. You're going to be bidding and buying plots of lands, doing your best to develop properties, and selling those properties or flipping those properties as quickly and efficiently as possible before the market crashes. But the market could crash just based off of someone getting scared. And so there's this flux. It's a little bit too random for our analytical game group, yep. while a little bit too too specific and, and numbers oriented for the game group that just likes random chaos and being mean to each other. It, it just didn't quite match up with yeah. either one of our play styles. I think there's an audience out there that are really gonna enjoy it. I think it's a compelling game and advanced yeah, mode it, added a lot oh of yeah. interest. The advanced mode was super complex because your building types, the tenants that you attract vary and determine your income yeah. drastically. So it's it's very cool, um, but it is ultimately not going to be staying in our collection. Uh, so I'm gonna get a video done for it and then it's gonna be sending on its way. A game that I backed that I've talked about and was really excited about the Emerald Flame. The Emerald Flame. You so, promised me a full day of okay. playing the Emerald Flame okay. in your five hour video yeah. that you did with Devin. I did, I did. And then I, which if you haven't watched by the way, are going through every Kickstarter I've ever backed mm -hmm. is not what it sounds like. It is probably one of the best videos we've ever put out on this channel. Yeah, I timestamped <laughs> it and I watched it in real time so that I could actually properly timestamp it. And then YouTube had the audacity not to allow all of the characters in my timestamping. It, 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 it's, it's something else. Uh, so this is one of, I back this personally, this is one of the most ambitious exit style games, mm -hmm. like clue games, right? Where you're trying to solve for these puzzles and I'm not the best at those. No. And I brought down the little practice pack for us to play over dinner. And together, we're not any better at it. Apparently, we're <laughs> both really bad at this. This is probably going to be added to my giving away to the community thing. Mm -hmm. The exit pack or the practice pack took away all of my desire to try because I was really, it was really hard to figure out like what the question was yeah. and 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 just bother with the puzzle and and like it was one of those things where it was like the different colored icons on the sheet related to different angles of the clock and those related to the words that were in the text and it made sense what we found the solution but we I just like, had to find the solution yeah i like deduction puzzles i don't necessarily like escape rooms per se yeah and it's a it's like a cryptid puzzle it's 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 one of those it's one of those uh like letter number mm -hmm. like but it's not all that. I mean, The Emerald Flame tells a vibrant story over three distant episodes, each packed with a hand-drawn illustration, unique components, and an original puzzle of varying difficulty, challenging and engaging players of all experience. Each chapter takes approximately two to three hours to complete and can be played solo, cooperatively, uh, or in a small group. It It is really cool. This yeah. I still think it was the right decision to back and support this game, yeah. even if it's not something that I think I can get joy out of, which yeah. is sad for me. 
Because yeah. I want to. Like, I want to be that type of person that can do numbers and word puzzles. You can't puzzles. do puzzles. You can't do Legos. It's okay that you have shortcomings. <laughs> What's next? Just speaking of Legos, <laughs> I go find stuff. <laughs> Did you not put it within accessible reach? It's inaccessible reach. Ah, my new Lego set has arrived. These are the Orchid. Uh, and I've been having a lot of fun building. I finished my Hogwarts castle. We actually didn't bring up the Hogwarts castle to show everyone to prove that That's I finished it. That's too much. We'll do it in a vlog at it some point. It is sitting on top of our calyx in our living room, enjoying the I'm life. the type of person that loves these botanical Lego sets. Yeah. I think they just beautify a house. They're nice to have around. They're kind of that hybrid between earth and nerd culture, which I am. Mm -hmm. But I get do what would not build them. You I cannot not build, build Lego. Build you them. cannot do I, thousand yes. piece puzzles. However, you, 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 what are however, you good for? Real good at this. So good at giveaways. So good at giveaways. The giveaway. best giveaways. You're not giving this away. We're giving away Legos. Oh. Nope. I need to buy more Legos for giveaways. Um, let me know. Do you want a giant Lego giveaway? I'm not opposed to it. Like, I just want to go Mr. Beast style and be like, everything we get, we just give to people. No. Yes. I want my Legos. The new Legos that you already have, we re-give them to more of the Legos. We'll see. The Orchids are the next set that just came in through yeah. Lego. We're, we're basically doing all of the botanical ones, which we're very excited about. We have succulents on the way. Yeah, I got the sunflowers this week. I built the sunflowers. So the sunflowers, the tulips, and the roses are all sitting in one vase yeah. and the other flower vase. Something I'm excited about, uh, I got a hat just to like... <laughs> to cover up your hair? Just cover up how ridiculous... No, not really. Um, we got in a whole set of very, very cool inserts from a little company called Game Trays. Uh, Game Trays, if you don't know, are the company that is the company that makes most of the high quality plastic inserts uh, in the industry. And we got basically a care package of awesome little uh, dubs and dillids and uh, For organizing games, which is one of my favorite activities. When we had a smaller set of these, we yeah. used them all and quickly ran out. Yep. And so now, like we've got, like these are player board things. Yep. I believe these were for, this might be for Terraforming Mars. Oh, that's cool. This is for Terraforming Mars because anyway, I like Terraforming Mars. Cup holders. These are cup holders. To make it so you literally do not one spill. One is for cans and one is for bottles. And they say the little icon, beer bottles, nice. and then the other ones say cans. Just because like those of you that play understand that spilling is just not the, Right idea. This is just too small of a can, though. Either way, the it's idea is there. Spill it's, in it's, there. It's, still, it's still pretty good. Yeah. Um, I like them. Uh, game Trees is actually coming out with a brand new game, which is one of the reasons why we got sent a bunch of stuff to cover for it, because we're going to be doing some work with them on uh, Forsaken, which is their first ever board game, coming from some designers and publishers that are well-known in the industry. Um, so, keep an eye out for that. Should we keep going? Yes. All right. I'm finally doing it. I am admitting that you are never that going I am to never play. going to play the physical copy of Twilight Struggle. I am going to play the digital copy of Twilight Struggle. I am. But slow clap. Alex for your admittance. Alex and Devon Talks Tabletop have thoroughly convinced me that this is not going to be a game that's for me. And I am going to find it frustrating to try to get this version of it to the table. There's a great online adaptation. I'm going to play it there. I want to know the game. I want to be able to talk about the game thoroughly. I just do not need, I just don't need the copy. I, I've had the copy for five, six years. It's one of the older games in my collection that I purchased. Um, it's just not necessary. So we're getting rid of it. It is leaving our collection. Viticulture World. We've went back and forth a bit on this. We like Viticulture yep. a lot. Uh, the reality for me is... I don't I'm, need this expansion. I'm never gonna, I'm, I'm not going to play this over Viticulture yep. ever. We have Viticulture Deluxified and me being a I want it all type of person. There are some games that I like cooperative and there are some games that I like competitive. This game, I like it competitive. I like yeah. Viticulture competitive. Yeah, so uh, this expansion is just, now we're not gonna get rid of it or anything like that until of course people start receiving theirs in, uh, but it is going on the shelf or the pile of shelves that's, that's like, hey, this is leaving at some point. Um, so, 
We have... Pretty soon the pile of games next to me is going to be as tall... Oh, there it is! It's as tall as the table. Now or never. You just got this production copy to the table with Alex. I did, and it's going into our permanent collection. I had a blast. And Alex keeps reminding me every day since then that he wants to play it again. Does so he? I think he's going to be finding a production copy of it. Ooh. This is a lot of fun. This is by Ryan Lockett. It is Red a, Raven Games. It is a sprawling table hog of story-driven exploration that you don't always need to go into the story mode. So I like it a lot. Yeah. It is competitive as anything. I am perfectly you, happy. Building your tableau, market, everything. Perfectly happy having this be in our permanent collection. The real question is going to be, does Sleeping Gods Above and Below or Near and Far compete with this one for her? I have to play Above and Below, Near and Far. Sleeping yep. Gods is totally different because it is cooperative. And the last one we have on our radar, Sniper Elite, we the board game. Just did an epic gameplay on this, by the way. Uh, our first time doing like mid-roll back and forth cuts with commentary through the gameplay. I'd yep. love it if you all would go check out that gameplay, support it, and let us know the direction that we're going with gameplay is, is correct for you. Um, and this is the hidden movement game that will be leaving our collection. It's not leaving our collection. Leaving our collection. Sheer didn't like this. No. You didn't. didn't. You, weren't, you weren't sold on it. I wasn't. And I don't, yeah, because it... I have, for Hidden Movement, Beast is on its way, yeah. and I have Mind MGMT. So, I had this conversation with Alex as well, and we actually had it on, on a review video that we did on his channel. Beast, for me, is the higher player count Hidden Movement game. Correct. Uh, Mind MGMT is the detective-based Hidden Movement game. And lower this, player count. And lower player count, yeah, two player. This is lower player count and skirmish. This is different. The experience here is very different from Mind MGMT. Here, hear. you're popping up, you're shooting rounds off, you're running from people. Whereas in, in Mind MGMT, once you solve the puzzle, the puzzle's solved. You finished the game. That's the end of it. Mm -hmm. So I understand why you don't like this one, but there is no way this one doesn't deserve a place in my, in my shelf. I okay. like hidden movement. Just like you like area control. Yep. You came up with 10 area control games that are just like permanent shelf stable. I came up with 21 when I was compiling my list of top yeah. area control games. So, so the top 10 that we're So I get at soon. least three or four hidden movement games. Fine. I get all my area controls. We're working on it. I ordered some that she's very excited about. We're going to have one of the biggest hauls. Uh, soon. Maybe in board gaming history soon. Um, I found someone selling unopened copies of games at cost out of California um, and struck a deal with him. Uh, he has a new baby on the way, and so we were able to like finagle something out. Um, and we're gonna be doing a massive haul unboxing and giving away something that, like if you went to eBay, you'd be paying four times market price for. Um, I'm excited. Uh, outside of that, that's the stuff that's shown up. Should we go through Kickstarter? Yeah, and okay. game found. And game started. Game starter. There is honestly not a lot happening in the world of board games. I'm going to admit that. Right now we're backing four campaigns at the moment. Age of Steam Deluxe. Ah, oh, the new maps. It was a lot of fun. You're still playing 18xx every week. I am. I what like are you this. thinking? Like, how do you? How this are is you not comparing? an 18xx though. It's this, not. This is a delivery system. This is a pickup and delivery system. How are you comparing your love of 18xx with Age of Steam though? Because they're both train games. They're and both train games, but they're very in. different. Okay. They are very different. Um, this one reminds me more of Iberian Gage, which I want to play the other real games. Sure. Um, Ooh. There you guys oh, are. Sexy old West in me. Um, I'm enjoying this one. Is that the that's unboxing? Uh huh. There should be a gameplay here somewhere. I know. Where's the gameplay? Hey, you never post the gameplay. Did you edit it? Yeah, it's up. Okay. It's up. Uh, yeah, Age of Steam, just lovely, just yeah. absolutely lovely. Um, so we're gonna be getting all of those packs. Devin and I discovered these, and I wanted to ask your opinion on them. We will cancel the pledge right now on camera if you do not like them. But these are poker chips. They're numbered poker chips with pirates. I'm intrigued. Right? We're looking for a good set of poker chips. The ones we have a okay we, set of poker. We have chips. an okay set that our friend gave us, but I would like a personal. I want a I want thematic a one. The question is, do you like pirates or do we want to try to get trains and stuff like that, you know? I like that they say the number on them because currently my biggest problem with the set that we have is that they don't say the number on them. Yeah, but that also means that the number can be flexible. Like here, we don't have any twos. We'd have to buy this set for the one, twos, threes, fives, tens, twenties, You'd have 25s. to buy the entire set if you're getting it. So here's the question. And you I also- You cannot just get the set. You have to I get also, the set do not know the quality of these. Mm -hmm. Like we could go with Andrew's recommendation 
and get ceramic. the classic and get the classic. They're ceramic. We want clay poker chips. Are these ceramic? It said ceramic on them. Oh. We'll have to look into this a little bit more, maybe. Literally right over. Where was it? I mean, maybe ceramic is the type is of. Maybe the ceramic's the type of material. Ceramic. That's a plastic, right? Or is it a. No, it's, it's a clay. an earthy thing. Yeah. It's a clay. Yeah. I, these might be nice. These might be nice. I wonder what the company is. Um, has this company ever produced other things? Uh, seven created. Okay, playing cards, playing cards, playing cards, playing cards, playing cards. So they at least have a history. Yep. Not a lot of backers though, only 200 backers. Yes, but who needs, who is looking for specific chips? Yeah, I am intrigued. I am still not convinced that I am going to back these. We've got two days to decide. Um, I don't know. Tiny Epic Vikings. I described this game as Tiny Epic Blood Rage, and yep. I stand by that, which means this is going to be added to our collection. Yeah. This might be one of the only Tiny Epic games that lasts permanently in our collection. A lot of them come in, get played, and then cycle out. We've been enjoying this one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I'm excited to just see the finished production of this. Uh, and the last thing that I have here is Household. What is Household? <clears throat> Household's an RPG. Household is one of the first RPGs. How is your RPG channel going? One second. Household is one of the first RPGs from our friends over at Simon. Uh, oh. Right? Now you're compelled, right? Uh, amazing art. The production quality that we know from kind of Simon and the team over there. They, they have an adjacent company that's doing this. Um, some fantastic minis that they're going to be sending along with it. Fine. And it's set in this world of tiny people living in this mansion. You see? Oh, so, cool. like, you're exploring this giant environment. Like the Littles. Yeah. Exactly, like the Littles. And so, for me, I think this is a no-brainer. I, I just yes. think it looks incredible. Whether or not I can permanently get it to the table, another question. Oh, yeah. You can ever get an RPG. I've got table. high dreams of RPG, Shira. I love I love the genre. It's just hard to do while we're trying to get a startup like Quackaloop up and running. You know that. There's another one. There's not another one. Yes, there is. Currently running? Currently oh, running. Oh, I forgot we backed this. Yes. Okay. This is a little <laughs> expansion pack. Expansions for Kabuto Sumo, On Tour, QE, and Bytes. I uh, have already gotten rid of... Uh, Kabuto, Kabuto Sumo. Sumo. QE, we played the expansion and um, genuinely liked the game less with it. Correct. Uh, Bytes, Alex said, was unnecessary. However, I like Bytes quite a lot. Correct, which is why I said we should back which it. Which is why you said... And then I like On I Tour like a on lot. Tour. I like On it's Tour. And it was like I... the first Roll and Write game you got. Yeah, it was the first Roll and Write game. Which is, is why that, why that you like it? and Santorini and so many other... And Terraforming Mars. Those were sure. my three first games okay. ever. And that one's not going anywhere, and I want the expansion for it. I hear. Uh, so we're going to be backing at the pledge level that gets you the expansions, uh, and then we'll be cycling out. Um, I'm excited. We'll be cycling out some of the expansions. We, we don't need the extra bits, extra pieces, anything like Correct. that. Um, but that's the plan. They also have a cool system here where you're now allowed to swap games for games, which means oh. we might grab like Loot of Lima instead of one of the titles, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Now we actually own almost all of these. Um, yeah. So we could swap. Yeah, they just they do quality work, and they're using Quackalope Yellow here to advertise Kabuto Sumo, which oh yeah, that's a little what, bit. Uh, and now Game Found. Now Game Found. Is there anything on Game Found? You know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I am compelled by Raw. Okay. Alex said he thought we should back it. Okay. Um. So I might end up backing I'm that one. I'm compelled if he says to back it. Terra Tiles. I don't know. Resist uh, is a fast-playing, card-driven, solitaire game. Ooh. Interested in Resist. I, I, solo. Yeah, I, I like solo, though. Yeah. And I like games that are unapologetically solo. Mm -hmm. And the style of this actually looks really nice. Um, I, off of my gut check right now, am going to say, I'm, I'm unless I see warning signs, I'm mm -hmm. probably going to back this just because I, I like how it looks. Cool. Um, which is exciting. I like, I like, you know, swing and a miss sometimes with stuff. Heroes of the By Castles of Burgundy Special Edition is going to be coming soon. Yay. Are we backing that? Yes. All right. We're going to be, in, gonna be in on that. Okay. Yep. Um, I think that's that's, it. that's about it. Um, GameFound has opened up now, though, so you're actually going to see a lot more projects on GameFound, but okay. you're also going to have uh, maybe less curated projects on GameFound. Interesting. So something okay. to keep in mind. It's that balance. Like Kickstarter, as long as you get approved, you can launch anything on yep. it. GameFound is now doing the same thing, where creators can just do their project. Not only board games? Uh, no, only board games. It's okay, really board games. So it's game only space. going to be games. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. But, it's, it, but before they curated each one that they yeah. put up. So, 
That's a collection update. That's that's what's going on with us. Um, that took a really for those long. of you that made it to the end or skipped to the end for the secret uh, promotional thing, it's, it's not. Dab in it's the not middle here. Of the video. It's, it's, and I'm not going to timestamp it when I timestamp things. Are you not? No. That's kind of mean. They should watch the video. I timestamped the last one. You did? Yeah. I'll timestamp it something else. Do it like a five second block, just the tiniest little window. Tiniest? Like I mean, I mean literally like a five second block. Just saying. Uh, here's here's the other thing, though. For those of you that were curious about the like cryptic message I said towards the middle of the game, I am currently talking with a high quality uh, board game table company, and I am doing my best to leverage the channel and the community and the fans we have and the series we're doing here to secure. I was right when I said table. Uh -huh, then to secure a full board game table giveaway. It's not going to be warm wood, though. Uh, it isn't. I mean, I'm not getting a warm wood table. I know, but I was guessing a warm wood table. Yeah, that's where you went wrong. So. It doesn't... <laughs> warm wood is like the investment... Like, warm wood is like buying a, a Ferrari. No, warm wood is the Tesla. It's, 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 like buying, it's like buying one of these things that, like... You're you still driving you your Honda. You don't need... You're still you driving. shouldn't really have... Yeah. And if you're rich enough to be able to afford it, uh, like, that's amazing. Okay. I will one day give away a Wormwood table. It'll be about 10 years from now. Hopefully you'll have one by then as well. No, I'm just going to be able to afford to give one away. <laughs> oh Either way, if you made it to this part, we're, we're working on uh, probably one of the biggest uh, giveaways that the space has seen yet. Um, stay tuned yeah, for more. stay tuned. Thanks for being here. Um, and remember... Don't respond to scams down below. Yeah, don't That's, respond to scams, yeah. but quack. Bye. Bye. Bye.